Today I'm going to show you the exact place where the Civil War ended in Appomattox, Virginia. In fact, I'm going to show you the exact building and room where the surrender documents were printed as well as where they were signed. So if you like history, then this video is for you. So stay tuned. April 9th. 1865 in Appomattox, Virginia. It all ended on that day. The Battle of Appomattox Courthouse marked the spot that Robert E. Lee formally surrendered to Ulysses S. Grant after Grant's army had Lee's army essentially trapped and cut off from much needed supplies. Although this day didn't mark the official end of the Civil War. It began the surrendering process for the Confederate armies. It would take many more months to see the war officially come to a close, but Appomattox is considered to be the place where the end of the Civil War actually happened. After exhausting every option available to him, finally Robert E. Lee sent a messenger to the home of Wilmer McLean requesting permission to use his home to meet with Grant, and he reluctantly agreed. The two generals met in the parlor to handle all of the necessary paperwork for the surrender, as well as all of the pardons for all of the Confederate soldiers, so they couldn't be charged with treason against the United States, which also secured their ability to return home to their normal lives after the war was done and over with. Both generals were ready for the war to end and were exhausted. They had been corresponding to each other by way of letters for several days prior to arriving in Appomattox. General Lee had been hoping to get further west to get supplies from the railroad as well as to get to North Carolina to meet up with other Confederate troops to continue fighting, but Grant successfully cut his army off. At this point, after a brief battle at the uh, Appomattox Courthouse, Lee knew his only option was to surrender his army to Grant, or they would all be killed or scattered across the area to try to find food to survive. After the battle at Sailor's Creek, just two days prior, Grant had already asked for Lee's surrender, but up until now, Lee thought he could outrun Grant's army and get to North Carolina, but it was now clear that this wasn't going to happen. So Lee finally gave in and asked Grant what the terms for surrender were. Although this surrender marked the end of the war, it took weeks, even months for others to hear about this surrender. So naturally there were still fights going on as many other smaller armies didn't even know that the war had essentially ended. But finally, on August 20th, 1866, the war was declared officially over, but not before the country was changed forever. The number of soldiers killed in this war is astronomical for both sides, as well as controversial. For many years, it has been believed that there were a little over 360,000 deaths on the Union side and 258,000 on the Confederate side for a total of 618,000. But in 2011, Dr. J. David Hacker did a study and reports that close to 850,000 total men lost their lives in this bloody war, but those numbers are not officially being used. He also estimates that approximately 22.6% of all Southern men between the ages of 20 and 24 in 1860 lost their lives because of this war. Now many events had been going on for almost a decade prior to the Civil War that led up to it, but the final straw was in 1860 when something happened that the South saw as a huge threat to their way of life. The election of Abraham Lincoln as President of the United States. 
Abraham Lincoln was clearly against slavery and the South knew it. It took less than six weeks after the election for the first secession convention to take place in Charleston, South Carolina. A 60% vote secured the state leaving the Union. Almost immediately afterwards, Mississippi, Florida, Alabama, Georgia, and Louisiana followed suit in leaving the Union. This led to the establishment of the Confederate States of America and Jefferson Davis from Mississippi was elected president. Immediately afterwards, Texas joined as well. Then, after a successful first battle at Fort Sumter in Charleston, South Carolina, Virginia, Arkansas, North Carolina, and Tennessee left the Union and joined the Confederacy. Now, can you imagine being alive at this point in time? The nation you live in literally tearing itself apart. Families divided over their beliefs. But yet, somehow, this country survived the war and many more since that terrible moment in time and is still going strong. What I will tell you is that looking at pictures, watching videos, and reading about these events are very educational and interesting. But when you actually walk through the courthouse and the house where the surrender took place, walk all around the property where the slave quarters, the old wells, the outhouses, the old barn, and much more are still located, it really will leave you in awe. I've always had a fascination of history and I'm so glad I got the chance to visit Appomattox, Virginia to see the place where this moment in American history took place. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Have a great day.